Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. Are you enjoying our study in the book of Colossians? I hope you are. We have been studying about Christ's supremacy, how he is the main thing in our life and in our faith. And today, as we continue through, we're going to learn that Jesus is better than all human religions, human philosophies, worldly thoughts. He's better than religion, rituals, and regulations. So let's take a look. We're in Colossians 2, and I'm looking at verses 20 through 23. If with Christ you died to the elemental spirits of the world, why, as if you were still alive in the world, do you submit to regulations? Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch, referring to things that all perish as they are used, according to human precepts and teachings. These have indeed an appearance of wisdom in promoting self-made religion and asceticism and severity to the body, but they are of no value in stopping the indulgence of the flesh. So is your faith all about the do nots? Do not do this. Do not drink that. Do not go here. Do not watch this thing or that thing. The do nots are not what our faith are supposed to be about. Our faith is not about a bunch of rules that we need to obey and follow. Is your religion based on human ideas? I mean, let's face it, you can go on social media and you can get all kinds of crazy human ideas on what your faith should be, on what you should believe, or is your faith based on what you read in God's word and what you receive from trustworthy biblical teaching? I hope it's based on the trustworthy biblical teaching and not just made up human ideas and philosophies. How about this? Is your body the recipient of harsh and severe treatment because of your religious beliefs? Do you feel like you have to, you know, harm yourself in order to please God? That's what was going on in Colossians. Obviously, that is not what Jesus wants for you. And all of these man-made rules, regulations, and rituals do nothing to, as it says here, Stop the indulgence of the flesh. That battle that's going on inside of all of us with sin and with righteousness between pleasing God and pleasing ourselves, that battle is not won by rules and regulations and severity towards the body. How is it won? Well, if you think back to our study in the book of Galatians, Paul tells us exactly how it's won. If you go back a few pages and look at Galatians 5, you see in verse 16, Paul says, but I say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So that's not about rules and regulations. That's about walking with and by the Holy Spirit. Verse 18, but if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. So if you are following God's spirit, if you are following the Holy Spirit that's inside of you because you've trusted in Jesus, then you're not under these rules and regulations that you need to try to obey. And then, of course, if the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, what does it say at the end? Against such things there is no law. So in other words, walking by the Spirit, listening to the Spirit, letting the Spirit develop in you, in your heart, and in your life, all of those wonderful attributes, that is how you win the battle against your flesh. That is how you win the battle between obeying God and fulfilling your own selfish desires. So I hope that today gives you a little bit of hope and a little bit of perspective as you continue to wage that war against the desires of the flesh. If today's message has meant anything to you, would you like it? Would you share it? Would you leave a comment below and have a blessed day, Calvary?